missed your opportunity, dude. But Rico's got a new spot. New spot. New spot. What's it called? Bonnie and Clyde. Bonnie and Clyde. It's basically me and Logan. Me and Logan, Bonnie and Clyde. Are they gonna go? I'll be Bonnie Logan. Today could be the day. Lots, lots more activity. I felt like last night as a group, collectively talking about the hunters than there was previous evenings. There was one gentleman, Bryce. I took a shot at a buck last night, so they're gonna try to turn him up this morning. Every day is gonna get better. Every day will be better. Get closer to November by the day, which is go time. Logue? We're gonna see a deer today. Guarantee you that. <laughs> you ready, Eric? I'm ready. Let's go get him. Let's go shoot him. Wanna sit in the stand or blind? What do you want? I think we have the option, he said, where we're going. We'll talk to him in the truck, but. Guys, October 27th is today, right now, today. What we're gonna do today is make October 27th, 2018, the best day ever. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna enjoy ourselves, and we're just gonna, you know, hang out in a stand or a blind. We'll decide here later. But let's go, let's go right now. You guys come with us. And go kill big bucks. Actually, we're gonna go sit in a double ladder stand this morning. Oh, for nice. You guys. What? Double ladder, double ladder stand. stand. Double ladder stand? We're right. gonna go after a buck called Fat Fat. Fat Fat? <laughs> yeah. Yes. I'm in. He's about an eight and a half year old deer and he's, Whoa. he's just really fat. So. Sweet. We're gonna get after him this morning. Sign me up for that. He's Do you he's, figure he's eight and a half years old? Yeah. He's like the most consistent deer over there. So. Really? Yeah. I mean, there's other shooters over there, but. He's like the most, most consistent. Look at the ripples in his neck. <laughs> yeah, the rolls. Look at that thing. <laughs> his neck's almost as big as his body. Oh my gosh, that's cool. That is so cool. Fat, fat. Look at that deer. That looks like a horse. <laughs> Our new stand. We have not been to this one, but Casey and I sat a different stand the very first night. It's not very far from here. It's a brisk, cool morning. It's the coolest morning so far that we've had, I think. It's time to shoot a deer. I feel good about this morning. And if not this morning, I feel better about this evening. If not this evening, I feel even better about tomorrow. And if not then, even better about the next time. And then I don't feel good because we have to leave. See you, Joe.
deal when you're either in a tree or in a blind. But sometimes Mother Nature doesn't give you many options, let's just say that. So I sneakily climbed out of the blind, tried to go downwind a little bit to use the restroom. As I was turning to walk back into the blind, a very nice, mature buck was standing there looking at me and uh, immediately turned and ran the other direction. And he was coming right into the scrape. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, I knew it was a risk, but there was other risks also involved. If you are following my lead here, that is just super unfortunate. Oh my gosh. I don't know, what do you do? I mean, you gotta go, you gotta go. I cannot believe that just happened, like the worst timing ever. I'll just say one thing. I'm glad it wasn't me. It's a real crappy morning, no pun intended. Right behind me is where things started to go south real quick. I mean, what do you do, guys? What do you do when nature calls and there's just no getting around it? I had to go over here. Literally, right on the ridge as I'm getting ready to walk back into the blind. Very mature buck. And I look over and he just whirled and was bounding south, headed towards Oklahoma. Couldn't really tell if it was a shooter, because it happened so quick. And I knew it was gonna be a risk, but I mean, seriously, what do you do? If you gotta go, you gotta go. So, that sucked. Two does came by, shockingly didn't win to us, based upon what happened, and just motored on that way. We were expecting the deer to come down this funnel there's an active scrape right here, and then a water tank. And we're basically just in this corridor right here. The winds are blowing this way as well. It's to the east, and those does, again, didn't wind us, even though the wind was going straight at them. But I'm pretty sure that buck was gonna just likely come right down this trail. Go check that scrape. I could've shot him at 23 yards, assuming he's a shooter. I'm gonna go pull the stealth cam camera card, though. My guess is that he might be on there potentially, so I don't know. Super bad break. Super bad break. It is what it is. So we're gonna hike out of here, go meet Joe, get picked up, and then uh, make a plan for the evening hunt. But I just feel like it's gonna happen. Like it, good things are gonna happen. That was a bad break. We just keep seeing a little more activity, a little more activity. So I'm gonna keep my head in the game, and uh, we're gonna kill one tonight. What are you gonna get? We got the HME scent web. We're gonna see the scrape here. We're gonna spray this on there. Really get the bucks action. Hitting scrape. Ooh, smell that. Yeah, stuff 
potent. This is the uh, scrape venom. I want to know, any of you guys use this stuff? Have you guys had any experience with this? Let us know. Yeah. And, and, and that's a scrape. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> Watch that a couple times in a row. Yeah. Uh, welcome to Kansas, everybody. It's August 28th, 82 degrees outside. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go try to go deer hunting, right? We're gonna try. We're gonna try. We're gonna try our best. Just kidding, guys. It's actually October, but uh, things have warmed up just a touch. So we've switched out from bibs and heavy cold gear to lightweight gear. And Logan and I decided tonight we're going straight ninja status. So we went with the black first light. So we're going to be back where we were last night with all those does came by and uh, we're optimistic that one of the three mature bucks that's in that area will uh, make a mistake and come by. Who knows? It's a toss up when it's this hot. You never know what could happen. But it's 2.30 p.m. We're going to go head out and give it a sit to the evening. Zach's going to play a lot of golf crush or whatever it's called. Dumb game that Logan got everybody addicted to. You know you want to. Jordan told me the other day, but he was driving down the road and there was an old man. It looked like he was struggling to try to fix some of his fence. And Jordan passed him. He's like, oh, I gotta go help him. He turned around and came back and helped the guy fix the fence. And he said he was in bad shape, like could barely walk. Anyway, so he helped him fix his fence for 20 minutes. And at the end of it, he asked if they ever allowed anybody to hunt. And he said, no, not really. But by the end of the conversation, Jordan got the keys to this place. It's like 300 acres. So he came and put up a trail camera down here. Big bucks are, like three shooter bucks are down here. So we're putting up a blind right now. And uh, we'll go make a screen. But uh, this might be a sweet spot. Box were hitting last night. bucks in the area takes a little stroll didn't see any last night don't necessarily know if there's any on um, trail camera that's up a little further and we think it's just a matter of timing but supposedly the wind is going to change tomorrow and this stand probably is not going to be in play so kind of our last hurrah here i believe casey and eric are sitting in the new stand as well i don't know i just i have a good feeling about tonight I'm optimistic that one of us is gonna get an opportunity at least. And that's all we can ask for. It started out as like this pretty easy hunt. First set, Eric kills this incredible buck. And I think Casey and I both were like, man, this might be super easy. And you know, would we even really want that, to be honest? And then here we are, you know, a few days later and nobody has had an opportunity, in our group at least, on a mature deer. So it could be a blend of the moon phase, it could be the warmer weather, the storm. They still haven't cut a lot of the corn around here because of the weather being too wet. I know that makes a big difference as to where the deer are. A big old buck will live in corn for quite a while. So yeah, we've got a few days left and see what we can see, but I'm thoroughly enjoying my first whitetail experience. And I'm actually pretty excited that I get to keep this going in Missouri in a totally different terrain, different style of hunting with uh, some different folks. I just want to try to absorb as much whitetail knowledge as I can and continue to do it, you know. Uh, we're not very good at calling, we're not very good at rattling, not very good at figuring out where to put a stand yet, but we're acquiring knowledge because we're hanging out with other people that have done it a long time, and that's pretty cool. Alright, I've got blinds up in like five minutes. Got it covered in, uh, what's that stuff called? It's like a deodorant stick calm or something but uh made a little fake screen we got the, what we don't liking about this so much is we have deer here but it's super hot it's almost 80 degrees and we got a pond deer are gonna come to that pond today to get a drink so hopefully that's the uh, game changer during the day 636 so that's promising super nice buck but he's broke but he's mature comes in, I'm shooting my deer for sure. I don't care if he's broke. There's this guy who's really awesome. That's a shooter. This is him. 
this guy, he's broke too. So these guys have been getting out of it and he broke his G2. His eye guard and his G2. And then this guy, oh, this is the one we hunted last night. So these are the deer we're looking for tonight. So I know white doe, like uh, different outfitters and ranches allow you guys, allow certain age class deer to get shot. They don't want young deer to get shot. These guys kind of run off both. They don't shoot anything under 140 unless it's really old and then you can shoot it. So, uh, just so you guys know, I know we've been getting asked on social media what type of place is this. It's just an outfitted, uh, outfitted on out of Kansas with the Heartland Pride Outfitters. It's not High Fence Ranch, even though Eric's book look like High Fence Ranch. This is all just, uh, you know, wild, wild deer running around and these guys have a bunch of different ranches leased. And, uh, they just do a lot of scouting. And what's crazy to me about whitetails is, like, there was whitetail over here last night. And they've been here for, like, last, you know, ever long the camera's been here. But, but in my head, like, hunting mule deer, if I don't see him in a day or two, I'm like, oh, he's gone somewhere, he's left. But whitetails don't go far. They're, they're somewhere close. They just need to make a mistake and come in here while we're in the blind. So that's the rundown. And it's off. minute of legal light. I hope Casey or Eric had better luck or maybe Ben or 
visor glowing dome right now where I like to live. And it's funny, she didn't like take off, but they're just like doing that. Yeah, it's close. And she's getting closer. Like, I've seen, I've seen videos where White Tail beat people up. Should we be worried about our e exit strategy? <laughs> no, I, did you look like the masked bandit right now? I don't think so. Your face is like shrouded in shadow now. <laughs> Maybe tomorrow's a day. Maybe Sunday, fun day, will be everything we hope it could be. The weather's supposed to be cooler. That should be a plus. We're gonna earn this white tail. But I'm cool with that because whenever I kill my first like true Midwest white tail, I'm gonna have a much better appreciation for what all of you guys and gals that love to hunt white tails go through. Lots and lots of sitting. I don't know how many hours we've sat this trip, but I do know that I am probably more sore now than after like a multi-day backpacking hunt in the mountains out west. So again, mad respect to all of you guys and gals that sit either in a ground blind or in a tree stand uh, trying to chase these cagey little white tails. And, you know, it's uh, it's mentally 